Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. We're on Psalm 70. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee, and let such as love thy salvation say continually, let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me, O God. Thou art my help and my deliverer. O Lord, make no tarrying. As we see David's life and the Holy Spirit leading him each step of the way, uh, it just seems like it's one deliverance after another. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's part of life, and we ought to participate in that, thank the Lord for that, uh, that he will deliver us. Over and over again in Psalms, we see uh, David rejoicing in the fact that God will deliver and does deliver. And many times he's not going to deliver according to our will, but according to his will. Uh, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. That doesn't mean he's going to give us everything we want. He's going to change our wanter to want the things he wants. And a good example, that's the Apostle Paul. He wanted to be healed. Three times he asked to be healed, and God said, my grace is sufficient. Paul didn't say, well, poor me. I don't deserve this. I don't know why this has happened. I don't know why my kids are rebelling. I don't know why my job's going bad. I don't know why this, that. No, he said, most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmity that the power of Christ may rest upon me. And boy, that ought to be our goal, Christian. We ought to rejoice because the power of God can rest on us. Now, what does that mean? That doesn't mean that we should depend on our heart and how we feel that circumstances are going perfect. No, we depend on the promises of God. The promises of God through faith are more real than anything going on in this world. And so let's take a few moments today, write down a list of things God has delivered you from, delivered you to and things that are in the future you'd like to see some deliverance. I'd like to see our country delivered from the wicked attitude that's prevalent in our country today. I'd like to see our country delivered from the wicked politics that are going on right now. But I can't do anything about that except I can pray and I can thank God. And the Bible says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. God can turn things around. It's not out of his control. We just have to realize that a lot of things that we worry about and stress over are out of our control, but nothing's out of his control. And I believe that's what David was saying. He was saying, whether Saul's chasing me, whether Absalom's chasing me, whether it's a savior-inflicted storm, a self-inflicted storm, or a satanic-inflicted storm, God will take me through the storm, and I will get out the other side. He will deliver us. And we need to take that as a firm promise from the Word of God. I mentioned in the last devotion, take time to praise God every day. This devotion, take time to write down the things that you're thankful for that God has delivered you from and delivered you to. Just think about this. He's delivered us to his eternal kingdom through his son, Jesus Christ. Let not your heart be troubled. In my father's house are many mansions. What a promise. He's been working on our mansion for over 2,000 years. Think about that. When we get to heaven, there's a lot to rejoice in. But I just want to remind you, there's a lot to rejoice in right now. God's doing some magnificent things. Boy, we've seen several people saved, several people getting baptized, uh, families added to the church, the building program. Boy, God's delivering us in spite of what's going on in the world around us. We have a lot to rejoice in. So let's take some time today and just go back through the Psalms. Look at all the times David talks about deliverance and then look at David's life. God delivered him from Goliath. He delivered him from Saul, not once, but three or four times. He delivered him from Absalom. He delivered him even when David uh, made some mistakes and sinned, God delivered him. And God will deliver us. 
Don't let Satan win the battle today. Be strong in the power of the Lord. God bless you and have a good day.